There were uh, differences in the way the Air Force and the Navy uh, did air intercepts, etc., and both sides did it the right way, as they would be the first to tell you. Um, so we trained most of the time air defence uh, stuff when we were ashore with the RAF or even at sea, but interspersed it with low level flying and ground attack um, or sea attack. The Navy had its own way of making sea attacks type Alpha, Bravo and Charlie, depending on what you were going to deliver. Some of them were totally impractical. Uh, but there aren't many features when you're flying over the sea in which to pull up on this bit and navigate in this bit. It's all flat and wet. Um, the aircraft carrier would tow a splash target about 500 yards astern of the ship. Uh, the ship, as long as it's got 12 or 15 knots on, this thing is a big uh, wake kicked up and we'd make our attacks with rockets or bombs onto the splash target. Uh, ashore, as I said earlier on from the PTF, we'd use Rain, um, Rose Hearty, Wayne Fleet and Tain Ranges for uh, the, the weapons. Um, I did a, I mentioned napalm tanks earlier on. On one trip I did, this is with the Navy, an aircraft required an engine air test, so off I went. Um, standard aeroplane, two tanks fitted, pylons, etc. Uh, did the air test, which is climbing to 40,000 feet, or thereabouts, as I recall, slam tests down, lots of fuel left. So we did a leisurely sightseeing thing down the Western Isles, and then let low level uh, in the west. And as I was flying up a valley, Glen Tay, there was a, quite low and quite fast, there was a big bang. And that was it, just a big bang. No telelight captions or anything came on, but something had clearly happened. Anyway, pulled up, slow speed handling check on the way back to Lucas, uh, landed at Lucas, and as I taxied in, some of the sailors were going like that. So in reality, what had happened is a uh, loom, an electrical loom within the aircraft had frayed and had fired all the explosive release units, so the pylons, the tanks, the whole nine yards, the dummy missiles, all came off very close to the Tin Drum Hotel. Anyway, it didn't get 15 minutes of fame for me, but it was a few minutes on the national news that night. Um, yeah, I remember that one because of course I was to blame for it until such time as they ran the vaults around and quite clearly I hadn't pressed the clear wing bar.